Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of the review channel and I'm um, just going over the second half of the review on the ring alarm. Um, we're going to talk about how to set the delay and exit and entrance uh, delays on your ring alarm. I had a couple questions on that uh, regarding how to do that and I'm just going to show you right here um, on the actual phone itself. I did one, uh, I'll put a link below on how to do it on the PC or Mac. Uh, desktop version, uh, but this is the app version. It's pretty simple. Uh, so you just want to access your ring account You just want to go to basically you want to go to your dashboard and you want to go to Settings and then you go to modes So you go down to the second one down it says modes and that's where you go uh, to set your delay times on entrance delays uh, So let's say for instance the away mode I have it set for entry delay for 30 seconds or exit delay for 45 seconds and to change that, all you have to do is just tap on the actual um, delay or, ent or delay uh, entry, uh, and you can choose what you want, 60 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever you want. You go right back into that and make sure you save it, uh, and it'll save that um, entry and also exit delay if you want to make it shorter or longer. You can also do that, and that um, <clears throat> for that section uh, for the away, and also it's the same thing for home mode. Um, so when it's home, so it bypasses the motion sensors, um, and so what I like is I like the exit delay and entrance delay to be on at zero. That means if someone opens your door, front door, there's no delay, instantly goes off. Also, any of the windows or anything else that's attached, instantly go off as well. Uh, by default, that's the way you want to do that. Uh, that's what I believe to do is the best way. If someone opens your front door and you give them 45 or 60 seconds to deactivate the alarm in case they know the code, you know, somebody can get in if they know the code. I mean, though, somehow something happens. This way, it's instant alarm. And that's the way the best way to handle it and also on a side note so let's go over that again you go to your dashboard okay so you go down to your uh, settings and you go to modes and then you'll see your settings right there um so on a side note i did uh speak to somebody in uh, ring alarm and, and technical support and so basically they were telling me is that when you have if your alarm goes off it doesn't automatically call the station immediately it does give you a, a 30 second buffer to shut your alarm off to help with um, curve false alarms. Uh, and I've done it myself. You know, oh, you forget the alarm was on, you open the slider or you open some door or window and the alarm just goes off. So you run to the panel and shut it down. Um, and they never call them saying, what's going on here? It's kind of weird. Uh, so I'd call them up and I'd talk to someone in tech support um, and they confirmed that you, there is a 30 second delay before the actual signal is sent out. And I think that's actually a pretty good way of doing it. It does help with the false alarm. You don't have to worry about somebody calling you and all that so uh, that's on a side note so i hope you learned something today uh, please subscribe to my channel it does help me i do appreciate that uh, any questions or comments um, below uh, you can leave below be great and also a thumbs up would be awesome so i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to do your ring alarm using your phone app and i appreciate your time <laughs> thanks for watching have a great day